afternoon. This is News Always On. Many by now have heard that I was asked to leave a restaurant this weekend where I attempted to have dinner with my family. My husband and I politely left and went home. I was asked to leave because I work for President Trump. We are allowed to disagree, but we should be able to do so freely and without fear of harm. And this goes for all people, regardless of politics. By building a booming economy with record low unemployment for African Americans. And the debate on ideas and political philosophy is important. But the calls for harassment and push for any Trump supporter to avoid the public is unacceptable. America is a great country, and our ability to find solutions despite those disagreements is what makes us unique. That is exactly what President Trump has done for all Americans. Responding to a number of news stories I'd been reached out to by over a dozen reporters, and there were multiple news stories that had already been issued. Uh, it was considered news of the day, so I responded in the way I would to any other news of the day story. Uh, virtually all Americans agree that it makes no sense that an illegal alien sets one foot on American soil and then they would go through a three to five year judicial process to be removed from the country. Thousands of illegal aliens are removed every month without seeing an immigration judge as a result of procedures in current law, including voluntary removal and expedited removal. Just because you don't see a judge doesn't mean you aren't receiving due process. The president is focused on securing our border and reforming our immigration system to prevent the crisis at the border from getting worse. But he's saying no judges, no court cases, so no opportunity to claim asylum, no opportunity to see if you're uh, certainly, there is a, a process in order to go through. There are uh, point, points of entry that uh, asylum seekers should go to, and we encourage them uh, to work through the system and not come across the border illegally. In fact, anyone that goes to a port of entry uh, seeking asylum will not be prosecuted, uh, and we would encourage people to use the correct system and not try to break the law. ...that pass through the House. The Senate still hasn't taken them up. Hopefully they will, and if they do, that'll show that we have Again, this is a temporary solution. This isn't going to last. Congress still has to step up. They still have to do their job. This will only last uh, a short amount of time because we're going to run out of space. We're going to run out of resources in order to uh, keep people together, and we're asking Congress to provide those resources and do their job. Resources, uh, and at some point, Congress has to do what they were elected to do. And clearly they aren't. If they haven't passed a law to fix the system, then they haven't. Republicans have laid out a number of proposals that they support. The president has voiced his support for those. That's because no Democrat will get on board and actually support a solution. Republican issue. Republicans cannot pass these Republican bills. What is the president doing as the leader of the party? Jeff, these aren't Republican, Republican bills. These are bills that fix a broken system. They may have Republican sponsors, but uh, these should be bipartisan. This shouldn't be complicated. Do we have a number? I guess not. Let's go to the next one.